What's up YouTube? This is HDD Recovery Services. We're recovering this free play one terabyte drive today. This unit is making some pretty nasty sounds. Somebody uh, attempted to release the heads because this is a common problem with these hard drives. Uh, it was not successful. So what we have is our working donor drive that we pulled off the shelf that we will be taking parts from and replacing them inside of this failed hard drive. I want to note that this uh, serial number ends with uh, V0ZP. I don't know if you guys would be able to see that. Yep. To do that, I just powered on my laminar flow. Um, this drive has been tested, it works, I know for sure. So I'm gonna disassemble his drive first, inspect the heads, make sure that there's no uh, contaminants on them. And uh, if everything looks good, we're gonna go ahead and swap heads from the donor. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this uh, head swap quick. Uh, so I'm not really gonna be going over what I do. This is just something that we do and if you guys have a problem with uh, clicking hard drive made by either Seagate, Western Digital or any other brand, really. Uh, contact information, how you can get a hold of us and request our services is gonna be at the bottom of the screen but I'll begin the process. I might put it on a time lapse just to save some time. If you have any questions regarding the procedure, post comments below. I'm ready to give this a jolt of power. It's making a little bit of a clicking sound and it's still busy. I'm going to wait a little bit because these sounds are much better than what this drive used to be sounding like. There, we got a uh, registry for ready signal. Okay, so let's uh, fire up our PC3000 and right now we're in Seagate vendor specific utility we have to take this step in order for data extractor to be able to uh, build a head map. Head map is basically a process that calculates which sectors belong to which heads. It will help us to determine if there are any problematic heads in the assembly that we need 
to pay more attention to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new case for this gentleman. And once the case is created, um, we can begin the actual uh, data imaging process. So just gonna wait till this is fired up, hit okay. All right, so now that we're in, in the uh, utility, I'm gonna go ahead and build a head map. A head map is gonna be on a fast forward process because it does take quite a bit of time uh, to build up. Uh, so after the head map is built, you guys will be able to see that the drive is actually able to read and reads fairly good. And if you have a problem with a hard drive that currently is not responding and you need data retrieved from there, feel free to contact us. The information to reach out is on the screen at the bottom of this video, or you can just go to the description of this video and find a bunch of useful links. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, and if you are interested in data recovery, please hit the subscribe button. Also like our videos, it will help us in the long run. Uh, I do have a couple of more things that I got to film this week and uh, stay tuned till the next video. Thank you very much for watching.